Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome! Today we got a big release, Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Android port for the PS Vita. First we'll be quickly checking out its installation, then its performance, and in the end my first impressions. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, huge thanks to Dorina Catamente for porting it over, to the flow and others mentioned in the credits for their fair share of contribution. Your work is greatly appreciated. Grazie mille volte. Grazie mille volte. Fahrenheit Vita is the port of Android version of the game to the PS Vita. The game size is like 4 GB. It works by loading the official Android ARM v7 executable in memory. If you want to make it run, you can find the official GitHub release page with detailed step-by-step -step setup instructions down below. It is a bit more intricate than other Android ports like San Andreas or Max Payne. First install the plugins, then get the game files, then a couple more steps with command prompt window and patching and whatnot. It's quite a process and if you want to get it right the first time, I would uh, simply recommend to visit our favorite subreddit, r/vitapiracy, where the good souls have already pre-made the package ready to go for you. Just copy and paste and install vpk and voila, job done! Fahrenheit is running as smooth as a butter on your PS Vita. Well, not as smooth as a butter, cause it is only initial release version 0.8 with few known issues like the game can stutter from time to time due to acid loading, the frame rate is inconsistent and in certain scenarios it can get pretty low, like around 10 fps, some specific scenes are darker than usual, sometimes game, game may crash due to out of memory, I played it for like an hour and no crashes so far, and some interactions prompt uh, don't come out soon but require loading. I would also recommend going through the tutorial to familiarize yourself with the controls and overall game functions if you haven't played it before. And even if you did play it, I would say it's worth going through it just to know what uh, to expect. of the screen it indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand go ahead this release doesn't meet the renegatamentus quality standards for a version 1.0 but he decided to release it anyway because of two important things that make it a valuable source for other developers. First one, this is the very first Android port using SO underscore continue, lightweight implementation that allows to call original hooked functions inside their own hooks. And the second one, this is the first Android port using multiple SO files, so this repository can come in handy for anyone willing to work on ports of games having more than one SO file. Sounds good to me. And what are my first impressions of the game, you may ask? My first impressions are very positive, of course. Yes, there are some slowdowns and stuttering and whatnot, but overall the game is playable. Well, I say game, but it's more of a movie with the quick time actions and then options to choose a reply in a dialogue. Either way, it's a nice action adventure game with a rich multi layered narrative, innovative presentation, and a chilling musical score. Plus it is a remastered version that you can play right now on your favorite discontinued handheld platform, PS Vita. What else can you ask for? I'm looking forward to any new updates. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss them. One more time, thanks to developers for keeping at it. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to channel member for support. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. You all have a good one and das vidani. I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here.
border. Knife. I've got to get rid of it. this neighborhood before the police get here. I live too far away to walk. I have to find another way to get back home. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. 